Hello, algebra students. Mr. Lawrence here, and tonight's video is just a little bit of homework help. Hey, I gotta tell you, first period, wow, some of my level two kids destroyed those problems on the board. They didn't really need any help other than to say, go find the third dimension. Come on, guys, you gotta step it up, first period. All right, good job, second period. Here we go. I'm gonna do problems 24, 25, and I think 29 for you. So we're factoring by grouping. Remember that we always want to group together uh, terms that have a, um, a GCF. And so I see a 3ax and a negative 6bx. I see a GCF there, so that's cool. I've got an 8b minus a 4a, and there's a GCF there. Remember, I'm going to grab that sign. That sign is very important. It belongs to the 8. So I grab it, and uh, now I'm going to GCF this first quantity right? Looks like my GCF is going to be a 3B, I believe. Oh, no, it's not a 3B. It's a 3X. Excuse me. All right. 3X and a 3X here. So I pull that 3X out front and I'm left with a, an A minus a 2B. Over here, I see the GCF is 4. So I'm going to grab a 4, divide by 4, divide by 4, and I'll have a 2b minus a. Hmm, I got a problem here because this is normally when I would pull out my highlighters. I've got an a minus 2b quantity, but I have a 2b minus a. You know, this 2b is positive and the a is negative, which is not the same thing. You know, like 5 minus 3 is not the same as 3 minus 5, right? They do not equal each other. So these quantities aren't equal. Huh. Maybe I factored out the wrong number. Maybe I shouldn't have factored out a 4. What could I have factored out that would cause me to get a positive A and a 2B? What's that, Kelsey? A negative? Oh, let's try it. Let's factor out a negative 4. Oh, look at that. I factor out a negative 4. And then what am I left with? Let's see here. I'm going to get a negative 2B. Hey, I like that because don't I have a negative 2b over here? Okay, and then a positive a. Ooh, they match now. Even though they're written in different order, isn't 5 minus 3 the same as negative 3 plus 5? Aren't they the same problem? Yeah, they sure are. So therefore, a minus 2b and negative 2b plus a are the same problem. So that's my GCF. And if I want to get the highlighters out here, I can. And I'm highlight that and that. I'm not going to worry about highlighting the other numbers because I know they're not common factors. Okay, so I'm going to have an A minus 2B out front and a 3X minus 4 left inside. And there you go. That's it. Now, if you had it grouped differently, you might have come up with a slightly different answer. Like I think Kyle Gray came up with something like this. Okay. Uh, and that should be okay. It shouldn't matter. We should get the same answer. I guess we could always check and see if we do. Um, but I can't really see why it would be wrong, per se, uh, if you have them grouped differently. Okay, so let's check out number 25. And, uh, you know, I, I don't want to group these two together because I don't see a GCF there. But I'm actually going to do this one two different ways. So first of all, I'm going to rewrite it. And I'm going to take the a squared plus the a, and then minus a 2ab minus 2b. Uh, <laughs> I'm recording, and I can't pause it. I can't yell it out. The kids will go much faster. I'm coming back. All right, sorry about the delay. Tech guy Steve is here fixing my computer for me. So, and he wanted me to yell my password out, and I thought better of it. Anyway, so I'm going to rewrite it like this, and I'm going to group these two together and these two together. And remember, got to stick a plus sign there. This is why it's so important to grab that, that sign. So my GCF here is an A, so I'm going to factor out an A and have an A plus 1 left. Okay, then I'm going to factor out a negative 2B, and I'll have an A plus 1 left. Right? And this is why it was so important. You know, I divided here by 2B, right, a negative 2B. That's why it's so important to not get a B. Remember, a lot of you were trying to tell me X divided by X equaled X. Not true. It's 1. If it was a B there, it wouldn't match. 
All right, so if I get my highlighters out, I can say these are a common factor, and then I will have, uh, let's see, an A plus 1, and what's left inside? An A and a negative 2B, and there you go. Now, I mentioned I could do this one a different way. I'm going to show you a different way. Um, I am going to group it a squared minus 2ab plus a minus 2b. And I'm going to group it like this. And some of you are going to say, Mr. Lawrence, there's no GCF there. I agree. Perhaps I misspoke earlier. Uh, finding the GC having a GCF is just a really smart idea. I'm going to find the GCF here, a, a times a minus 2b. Now here, I'm just going to go ahead and put a plus, and I'm going to factor out a 1. Now, normally factoring out a 1 doesn't do anything for me, right? It's very unusual to factor out a 1. Uh, but in this special case, I'm going to go ahead and do it. And then if I get my highlighters out, you see I'm going to have an a minus 2b and an a minus 2b. And so then when I divide, I'm going to divide by a minus 2b as a quantity. And I'll end up with an a minus 2b times an a plus 1. And there you go, I've got the same answer. So it's really not the 100% rule that there has to be a GCF other than 1. It's just a really darn effective way to do it. So let's get on to the last problem here I'm going to do, number 29. Uh, you know, I'm not finding a GCF with this 1 here. I'm not. I wonder if the problem has a typo in it. But I'm going to try it on that, like I did on that blue problem and see if I can figure it out. And I'm going to grab that sign there, stick a plus there, and I'm going to factor out, I think, a 2x here and a 2x there. And so I'll have 2x times the quantity of 2a minus 7b. And then plus, even if I put a 1 there, I'm going to get 35 by minus 1. And they don't match, do they? No, this one's not factorable. You can't factor this one. It might be that there's a typo in the problem. I didn't, I didn't uh, type this problem up, so I don't know. Um, but this one is not factorable. You could tell me it's not factorable. Or you could tell me it's prime. Think about a prime number, and I know a lot of you can go, I don't know what a prime number is. Well, you should. You're in algebra. Prime numbers are simple. A prime number is a number that only has two factors. For example, 2 is a prime number. Its only two factors are 1 and 2. 3 is a prime number. 5 is, 7 is, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23. They keep on going. Okay, They're not every odd number. They're almost none of the even numbers. 2 is the only even prime, the only, only even prime number. Okay. Not all odd numbers are, fact, are prime. For example, 15 is not prime because 15 has two sets of factors, 1 and 15, and it also has 3 and 5, right? Okay. Uh, 1 is not prime. It is not. Okay. 1 is not a prime number because 1 only has one factor, namely 1. 1 times 1 is 1, but it doesn't have two distinct factors. All right, that's it for the video. Mr. Lawrence signing off. Have a good night, everybody.